We're going to show you how to back up your iPhone, but we're also going to talk about the key differences between iCloud and computer backups, which are absolutely not the same thing, and should you be using both? And how you can avoid the two biggest mistakes, one for iCloud, one for your computer. First, let's talk about backing up to iCloud. It really is the easiest way to do it. With iCloud, everything gets done on your iPhone. Cables, computers, not necessary. Good internet, necessary. Let's open up the settings app and tap on your Apple ID at the very top of the screen. Tap on iCloud, and then tap on iCloud Backup. Make sure that iCloud Backup switch is on. Your iPhone will automatically back itself up whenever it's connected to a power source, the screen is off, and it's connected to Wi-Fi. It's always been like that. It happens yeah. every day. You really need to be careful here about backup over cellular. This is a feature on 5G iPhones. Do you want your iCloud backups to happen using cellular data. I guess Apple thought 5G would make it easy to do that, but you're gonna really burn through your data. Long story short, if you have Wi-Fi, turn this off. If yep. you don't, you might wanna have it on. If you don't have a 5G iPhone, you won't see it, disregard it. You can also tap backup now anytime you wanna backup your iPhone to iCloud. iCloud backups are great, but they're not for everyone. Potential issue number one, it can take a long time to back up to iCloud, especially if you don't have a great internet connection and you have a lot of photos and videos, we're talking like days. Yep. Good internet, it's pretty good. Issue number two, it's recent or nothing. You can't go back to a specific date and pull that back up. Exactly. It's rolling backups, mm -hmm. only the most recent. Number three, privacy. And I think it's time to address the elephant in the room, and that is the celebrity photo hack that happened over iCloud. Right. Or the totally inappropriately and not hilariously named The Fappening. You know what we're talking about. Should you be concerned? N not really. Let me read you what Tim Cook told the Wall Street Journal. I'll take my pillow out. Customers of the online storage service will receive an email alert and push notifications when someone tries to log in to an account with an unrecognized device. Additionally, your data is encrypted and you can take it a step further with end-to-end -end encryption if you turn on two-factor authentication. So to do that, tap back to iCloud upper left-hand corner of the screen, tap back to Apple ID, tap password and security, then tap turn on two-factor authentication. It's already on on this phone. What you'll do if you don't have this turned on is enter a trusted phone number where you'll receive a text or a phone call with that security code for two-factor. Issue number four, storage space and money. You get five gigabytes for free. That's not enough for most people. Fortunately, Apple makes it very easy to buy additional iCloud storage space. Go figure. Go In the figure. US, 50 gigabytes, $1 a month. Yep. 200 gigs, $3 a month. Two terabytes or 2,000 gigs, $10 a month. Seems like a great deal until you take into account the actual cost of buying like a two terabyte hard drive on Amazon, which the one we recommend is $62 or a four terabyte for $100. So you could do the math. These these prices do add up over time. So if you want to upgrade your storage, tap back to Apple ID upper left-hand corner of the screen, tap on iCloud, then tap on manage storage, change storage plan, and here's where you can buy 50, 200, or two terabytes. Or you can just use your iPhone like a digital camera, call a spade a spade. It's videos that take up the most data, and usually that's what fills up people's iPhones. So you could just copy them to your computer or to that external drive and then delete them from your phone. Also, that would save you the money if you wanted to. The most important reason to buy iCloud Plus, well, it's kind of a no-brainer. If you have a home security camera, that video, if you didn't have this, would take up all the space in iCloud. But if you do, none of the HomeKit enabled security cameras that you have take up any space or count against any space in your iCloud storage. So it's like free storage mm -hmm. for home security cameras. And it also comes with other cool iCloud features. Yeah, iCloud Private Relay, that's still in beta, still a little clunky. Hide my email, just yep. cuts down on the amount of email tracking that goes on on your phone. Hides and your email. Custom email, it does hide your email, that's what it does. Custom email domain, get your own email domain, just neat. Meaning like, the, David the at, at David whatever. At whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But if you owned whatever.com, you'd be rich. You see Sell that for a lot of money. If you have a Mac running Mac OS 10.15 or newer, you'll back up your iPhone using Finder. If you have a Mac running 10.14 or older, or if you have any PC, you're going to use iTunes. Let's do it. All right. Got my lightning cable here. There we go. Under locations in Finder on the left hand side of the screen, you will see the name of your iPhone here. And if you're doing this for the first time, make sure that you tap trust when this trust, this computer pop-up appears. Yeah. Tap trust, yeah. and I just trusted it. So it should trust, let's trust. 
here in the center of the screen, backups. Click the circle next to backup all of the data on your iPhone to this Mac. And we recommend checking off the box next to encrypt local backup. We sure do. This is the number one mistake people who use their computers to back up their phones make is not checking this box, not because of the security thing, which is important, mm -hmm. but because if you don't, it doesn't back up keychain data, which means that you will lose the passwords that are saved on your iPhone, which could be a real pain in the butt. So definitely check this box. It's better to remember one password here than to forget a thousand. Right, and that's that the thing. Saved. When you do the encrypt the local backup, it does make you create a password for that backup. Do not forget that password because then you can't access that backup. Check that box and I'm just gonna pick a password. So now the backup is starting. If you choose not to encrypt the local backup, you can click this backup now button just to start the process. But there you go, it's how to do it in Finder. Backup is now complete and you'll see last backup to this Mac today, 2 p.m. All right, enough about Mac users. Let's show some love for the PC users and the older Mac users that run iTunes. Here we have a Mac that's running Windows. Also, the battery's dead. First step, open iTunes. So we just saw a pop-up about a new software version. We don't need to do that. I'm just gonna tap cancel. Install iCloud for Windows, remind me later. Totally get to that. Tap this phone icon that appears to the right of music, sort of at the top left of the screen. And that's how you get to the same look and type of thing we just saw on David's computer. It's very similar where you can encrypt a local backup, just tap back up now to back up the phone. While your iPhone is backing up to Finder or iTunes, we want to talk to you about our membership program. It's a great way to back up your ability to talk with us mm. with a membership. Back your way into a lot of great perks. That's Member right. shout outs, custom badges, emojis, access to giveaways. Yeah. Channels yeah. on member only Discord, whole bunch of good stuff. Exactly. Let's talk about some really important questions that people ask us all the time. Let's go back to the previous screen, and the question is, how do I see which backups are in iCloud? This is really important for people who might have other older backups that they don't need that are clogging up space. So tap on backups, and then tap on this iPhone, and it's gonna break down what's in this backup for you. Go ahead. And then you can also go to the bottom and tap delete backup if it's an older backup. You could also turn off photo library, like I said before, use it like a digital camera, just back up your videos. We just backed it up and I noticed that 1.1 gigabytes are player unknown battleground mobile. <laughs> that doesn't need to be in there. That doesn't make any sense at yeah. all. 1.1 so gigabytes? Yeah, gigabytes, that's GB. That's unbelievable. So if you see something in here that's really large that you don't need, uh, maybe just go ahead and turn that switch right off next time. Uh, Yep. Do you want to turn off the PUBG mobile backups and delete the backup data from iCloud? I sure do. Yep. There you go. There you go. It's totally there's unnecessary. A, there's an iCloud storage chip for you. That's a good one. Just like with iCloud on a phone, if you've been backing up your Apple devices for a long time, you can end up with lots of old, big backups that take up a lot of space in your computer. So I just want to touch on how to delete those backups. It's trickier on a PC, go figure, than it is on a Mac. Okay. Right now it's plugged into the PC, what you're gonna to wanna to do, and this is a little bit complicated, David's gonna love this. Come down to the search bar down here, type in percent sign, app data, percent sign, and then hit the return key. Then go to Apple computer, mobile sync, that makes sense, backup, and there's that backup folder. That's wow, the just one we so just, easy. It's just so easy. On a Mac, it's easier. Go ahead, unplug this from the PC. And All right, you're the boss. Well, there's this nice big manage backups buttons. Right. Buttons. Backup button. Backups button. I'm trying to click on it. There we go. Holy sh**. There's a perfect example of a problem that somebody might want to fix. I've been waiting for this moment. That's why I've been saving all these backups. We're going to see how much data David could save by deleting old backups. Yep. So? We're um, waiting. We're calculating the size. Calculating. Let's see, 115 gigabytes. Yeah, so David has a 512 gigabyte computer and 20% of the storage is old iTunes backups. So let's say I don't want this iPod 2013 backup. Yeah. Two finger hook on that, just click on delete. Are you sure you want to delete the backup? Delete. Trivia, can you restore an iPad backup to an iPhone and vice versa? I think it's a trick question. I think sometimes some of the files, yes, but not all of them. It's correct. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah well, the answer is yes, but some files won't transfer. For instance, if you transfer an iPhone backup to an iPad, apps that only work on iPhone won't transfer, but everything else will pretty much. Hmm. Actually, file attachments don't transfer. A couple things don't, but most everything does. 
Short answer, yes. I can't think of any other questions. I can't either. Maybe you could leave us them in the comments section below. That's how to back up your iPhone. This is everything you need to know about backing up your iPhone. I think we covered all the bases there. We covered all the bases and uh, all the fields. Yeah. Maybe we covered uh, the end zones. Sure. We not only covered the bases, we covered the... We went above and beyond. And, and if you like that, subscribe to this channel. It helps us out tremendously. Thank you for watching. Get my lightning cable here. Let's plug that. This is good. It's all tangled up. Yeah, you got to plug it into your computer. Yeah. Lightning into the phone, cable into the computer, and one. there we go. Under locations in Finder on the left 